they will not allow you to enter unless you are covered. It's got a lot of poverty that you can sort of see off the main street. There's a common thing that they rob you. If you walk by certain bars and clubs at night, you know, they can give you a little grabby sometimes. It is what it is. Yeah. You know, you know, I always look on the bright side, right? We are in the capital city of Vietnam. We are in Hanoi. And in this episode, we're going to find some interesting foreign tourists who have been experiencing Vietnam already for quite some time. And we're going to ask them what they really think of Vietnam. We're seeing on social media a lot of good things. And I also want to highlight the good things about Vietnam. It's yeah. an amazing country. Good people, great food. Is there something that is missing uh, from Vietnam that you think like, oh, that's that's what we don't see, but that's actually what I experience here. It's actually what I expected. It's yeah. really nice. It's more it's safer than I thought it was gonna be for a like single traveler. Yeah. It's it's very hard to like be like in a safe place, especially being a woman. Here, oh. it's like very nice. Yeah. So like, you're traveling I'm, alone? Uh, yes, I'm yeah. traveling alone. Oh, and you're feeling 100% safe. Yes, I am. I'm actually having a lot of fun. Yeah. I'm meeting a lot of people. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Have you been anywhere else in Southeast Asia? Um, I've been to the Philippines. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And yeah. now I, I still have Cambodia, which I saw your video, by the way. Okay. And then <laughs> I still have Thailand. Oh, yeah, nice, yeah. yeah. Have yeah, to yeah. visit that as well. Yeah. What's the best thing so far that happened to you? Oh, meeting people. Like, yeah. I, I've been able to meet people around the world and local people. They're very kind, very yeah. nice. Is it uh, difficult to communicate in English to the locals? No, I, like if you're like in the touristic places like I am, I think not. I mean, yeah. and they're st very nice. They're always like willing to help you. Yeah. Uh, the place where I'm staying is very nice too. So like they always help me. Something that is not so pleasant here in the city that you found out? The rain is kind of like unsteady, but Taiwan rains a lot too. So I ah. think Taiwan prepared me for that. Yeah. And bring, I brought my umbrella. And <laughs> everyone here also seemed to be prepared for anything. Like uh, the motorbikes, they stop when it starts raining and they yeah. put the poncho on and they just carry on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, the grab is amazing. The grab, oh. I was uh, very scared of using the scooter and okay. it was really cool, very safe. Ah, so yeah. grab is an application taxi service you can download so it's maybe a tip we can give. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. It's really good. I mean, you can pay with cash, which I thought I, I wasn't able to do, but okay. it, and the guy Guys are like they don't know English, but they're very nice. Oh. Like, I didn't know how to, if I was wearing the helmet right. They're always checking that I'm okay. Oh. Yeah. Vietnam, we love it. We love it. Yeah. Any tips maybe that we can uh, give the people that are not familiar to Vietnam? Do you, do you did always you learn? carry something with you when you're like you don't know when you're gonna. For example, as a woman, you need to cover your shoulders, okay. not use, like, not expose your knees or something uh, like that. So always be ready to carry something to carry on. Like for yeah. example, Ho Chi Minh, I didn't know I need to use it, so oh. be ready. So what what do you mean, like cover your shoulders, also walking down the street? No, walking oh. down the street is fine. Okay. Just just for to to respect the place, and they will not allow you to enter unless you are covered. Respect uh, the rules. Is it um, you talk about temples and all that? Or? No, it's not even a temple. It's Ho Chi Minh oh. Mausoleum. Okay. Yeah. Oh, there you go. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So, oh, <laughs> that's fine. Yeah, so I was not expecting it. I yeah. didn't do, apparently my research was not enough, but okay. yeah, just in case, just carry it anyway. Yeah, yeah. Just some, uh, like a scarf or something. Scarf, yeah. skirt, yeah. Yeah, yeah everything works okay. that covers yourself. Yeah. You're amazing. Thank you so much. Thank do you have you. a message to the world or some wisdom to pass on? He's so cool. His <laughs> tips are very helpful. Thank you very much. This is our first time. We've been here for two days. We're doing sort of a food tour theme. So yeah. we've got, we go from Hanoi down to Ho Chi Minh and we've got sort of guides meeting us on the way down. Wow. With more of a sort of a, we're doing cooking schools and those sort of things. Yeah. yeah so. Did you have one already? No. So oh. we've got one, I think we're here for four or five days and then yeah. we move on and then we start doing it. So we start with a food tour tonight and then go from there. Nice. Did you meet the guide already? No, we haven't. We met him tonight at 5.30 yeah. at the hotel. Have you met already some locals here? Um, not really. We're still starting to go, you know, the language of hello and thank you and sort of a couple other things. With one. We had a dinner with true. one yeah. of the locals last night. Yeah, yeah, true. yeah. yeah they, they did come a lot. Yeah, lovely, lovely, yeah. very friendly people, amazing. So, how was your experience compared to New Zealand? I know New Zealand is one of the cleanest yeah. countries in yeah. uh, in the world, yeah. I believe. Like, you, you really yeah. take care of your landscapes and everything. Yeah. Do you find it clean here in the city? Oh look, I mean it's probably you know it's not as not as clean, but it's a beautiful country. The people are really friendly. Yeah. The you know everything's just super cheap. Quite embarrassing at you know the value for money here. To be honest, yeah, okay. you know, yeah, yeah. I mean you can go out and have an amazing dinner for sort of ten dollars Kiwi. You know, so we're just really enjoying it. It's just um, it's sort of a mixture of kind of we've got a light, nice hotel and then. You know, you go a little bit intrepid as you want to. So yeah. it's, got, it's got a lot of colour here. Yeah. It's beautiful. Is there something that sticked out already for you? Um, no, it's just the food. We're def food and the culture for sure. The thing that sort of sticks out is just, you know, it's a communist country. It's 
got a lot of poverty that you can sort of see off the main street. You know, okay. people live in and around their businesses, which is quite different from other sort of things. But it's also got, I don't know, gen- generally people seem quite quite happy and upmarket and upbeat. Yeah. So, yeah. you know, what we look at as lifestyle is completely different to ours. Yeah. Is there something that you maybe wish you would know already beforehand and now you found out like, oh, if I knew this, uh, it would have been uh, yeah. a lot easier for us? Yeah, well, I think the thing I found is, is you don't really need to bring anything here. You know, get your phones, your currency sorted out here. Don't bring any clothes over here. Bring a pair of shorts and dandles. That's it. <laughs> buy, buy everything over here. Yeah. It's, it's just um, the quality and the gear is just, it's just you can live here for nothing really. Did you have a massage already? Are there many spas here? Um, there are lots of spas. I haven't. Mark has. Oh, yeah, yeah, a massive, basic. Yeah, yeah, off, yeah, it's off the back of the hotel. Really, ah, really, okay. one yeah. of the best, one of the best I've ever had. Ah, have you been to Thailand? We are based in Thailand with the channel. Uh, yeah, no, I haven't been to. Thailand. Oh, okay. Yeah, so we're just sort of starting. I mean, I spent a lot of time in Hong Kong and Singapore and all the main sort of stints, but um, the sort of a little bit more off the back street type thing is what we want to explore, yeah. you know. And just, oh, nice. and just, I think food's a really great way to actually get introduced to a country because yeah. it's just a great theme for everyone <laughs> wherever you are, right? Do you have a message to the world or some yeah. wisdom to pass on? Just travel, get out and see it yeah. for sure. Yeah, just be happy, stop chasing stuff. Yeah. I've been here for four weeks and oh. this is my. Yeah, last day perfect oh i'm super happy we bumped into you because yeah. we are actually hoping to meet also some experienced travelers in mm-hmm. vietnam yeah. was this your first time yes my first time yeah. in asia and in oh. vietnam are you going back to germany after this yeah back to germany how was your trip how, the four yeah. weeks uh, yeah. yeah yeah it was so nice we loved it <laughs> okay. um i'm with my best friend i'm okay. waiting here for okay. you, her and um, we started in ho chi minh and then did the whole trip to Hanoi and I think we had like nine stops in between wow. and everything was so nice and yeah. I think the best thing we did now um, the last few days we did Hajang, the Hajang loop for four days oh, and wow, I yeah. think Did you do that by motorbike? Uh, yes but with an easy driver oh, so yeah. I didn't drive yeah. by myself yeah, okay. <laughs> um, and this was the best thing I would say it was wow. so nice yeah. Yeah, what's, the, what's the nicest thing about the loop? Yeah, just sitting there and watching the nature. Yeah. The nature was just crazy. And then also we had a nice group and yeah. uh, stayed in homestays and had nice food and just everything. I think it was this perfect mix of everything. Yeah, I, yeah. I, I know as a foreign backpacker in Vietnam, it's really easy to meet only foreign tourists. Yeah. Did you meet any locals while you were here? Yeah, like when we stayed in hostels or anything? Yeah, Not really, then no. only like people from Europe or Australia. Yeah. Um, but now when we did the Hajang loop, we yeah. really like spend some time with our easy drivers. So this was right. the only thing yeah. like they are from Vietnam. Yeah, and yeah. then we that was the only thing normally it's just about yeah like daily stuff but not like going out or something it's more like with also people from yeah. Europe yeah how did you like the locals they are so nice yeah. like really yeah, we had two girls traveling and at the beginning we were like we want to go to a safe country yeah. and just to feel safe and we felt safe the entire time is there anything that really sticks out other than your loop Mm, Could be yeah, positive say, or negative? Yeah, I would say positive. Also, Hoyan. We love yeah. Hoyan, the city. Yeah. Also, it was really nice <laughs> and night market and all the lights in the city. Yeah. I'd okay. say that was the best thing after the Hajang yeah. Loop. Oh, yeah. cool. And how do you like this city? Yesterday and today we have a lot of rain. So, but um, still, it's just nice to just walking around, watching the city. And yeah. now we want to go to this, uh, the Note Cafe. Coffee okay. is a shop. I don't know. It's yeah. like really. Um, popular, so that's yeah. why um, we want to go there. But I like Hanoi; it's yeah. really nice. It's just something yeah. that people should know coming here. To Hanoi, um, like to our... to Vietnam, something that you learned here that you wish you would have known already. It's so easy to like um, do your laundry, so I would say the next time I would bring less stuff, just oh, less yeah. clothes, because I think oh. I have too much. Because yeah. um, at the beginning I was like, okay, for weeks I need a lot of things, but you can just la- do your laundry so easy yeah, so I think the next time I will have a smaller big uh, backpack that's a good one especially <laughs> if you don't mind dryers you can hand in your laundry and get it back in right. a few hours so yeah that's yeah. really easy and also maybe to stay more in like hostels because at the beginning we stayed more in like hotel rooms and private oh, rooms yeah, yeah. Um, just because we said like okay it's I don't know, it's easier and then you have your more, more thing like quietness but yeah. I would say it was the best thing just being hostels and meeting people so I think the next time we will do it earlier or like from the beginning. I'm making actually this episode because we're seeing a lot of good things uh, actually only amazing things about Vietnam especially yeah. on Instagram on YouTube uh, we're showing you the best yeah. of Vietnam. I also want to show the reality and also so, uh, maybe talk about the downsides. Mm-hmm. Is there anything that is maybe disappointing or something that is not so nice here? I think the only thing 
uh, was when we stayed in Hoi An that we heard about this like motorbike mafia thing that uh, when we went to the nightclub then in front of that there were like really many grab drivers they wanted to drive us to the hotel yeah. and but we heard of it that um, there's a common thing that they rob you then afterwards so that was the only thing we were like a bit okay mm-hmm. um, yeah, maybe this. And um, we had a small motorbike um, like thing. I burned myself on oh, my um, yeah, I see. <laughs> leg. Yeah. yeah. And then um, it's better to go to a big city than to the hospital because it happened in Katpa. Yeah. And then we went to the hospital in Katpa and that was like a bit, I don't know, not like the best. <laughs> so it was okay, yeah, yeah. Um, but not like really clean or anything. And then I went to the hospital also in Hanoi and that was so much better so maybe then to if something happens it's better to go to the bigger cities yeah. are you insured uh, yes yeah yeah okay. I am. i'm also teamed up with a travel insurance so yeah. if people still need to have a travel insurance i've got a reliable one in the description yeah, um okay. yeah, yeah and uh, it's because it can always happen th- something and then yeah. it's just we got to be on the yeah. safe side yeah exactly yeah. any message to the world or some wisdom to pass on mm. something that you learned maybe while you were traveling in vietnam the only thing i can say is just come here because I really I, I love Vietnam yeah. I, I will definitely come back who is at the country it's really nice okay. and, yeah and the food is perfect <laughs> I love the food I've been here for three days I'm going to stay here for four nights yeah. four more nights the first time yeah how do you like it yeah it's very gorgeous yeah do you think it matches your expectation yes totally yeah hundred percent yeah yes what's the best thing here the people yeah and uh, landscapes but everything's great yeah everything's good is there something you're saying everything is good i don't believe that is there something that is maybe not so pleasant here maybe someone will take your phone oh. and destroy it have you seen it happening yeah once yeah saying once when today no but yesterday yesterday the street wow just someone just grabbed his phone and ran away and then the guy starts screaming or something it's just standing there and don't know how to do, wow. how to deal with that. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So be careful for your belongings, you say? Oh uh, yeah. A message to the world. Yeah. Welcome to Vienna and China. Okay. Peace. So this is my first time here, actually. Um, I just arrived Thursday, and it's been incredible. It's really blown me away. Is there something that is maybe sticking out in the not so good way? Not so good. Sometimes the touts. I mean. If you walk by certain bars and clubs at night, you know, they can give you a little grabby sometimes. But besides that, I mean, I felt very safe the entire time I've been here. I mean, it's it's got a lot of charm here. I met quite a few American people here also in Vietnam who are saying uh, they're Canadian because they're afraid of what people think of them. Are you afraid or are you... Uh, any- I don't think so, no. no. I mean, I, I think there's a misconception that around the world that, like, you have to hide that you're American. But I think as long as, you know, you walk around with a smile and a positive attitude, I mean, yeah. you know... that got nothing to worry about yeah are you here also to uh, absorb the history of vietnam or oh definitely yeah i've been going to a lot of the historical landmarks um so yeah i mean there's it's just you know the city's been around for thousands of years so there's a lot to see yeah a lot to see where are you next where are you going next um actually i'm going to see the uh, the water theater today but besides oh. that i mean tomorrow <laughs> i'm going to uh, ha long bay so oh she, nice yeah, yeah, she, yeah that should be really pretty um is there something that you wish you would have known before coming here just more time to be honest oh. i I planned for a week to stay here, and if I had known just, I mean, I want to go to Sapa, but that's a very long journey, and if I had known that, I probably would have tried to stay for like two weeks or something, yeah. so just like the amount of time wow. it takes to get to places around here. Yeah. Have you been anywhere else in Southeast Asia? No, it's the first time here, yeah. so yeah. I visited Pakistan one time, okay. and that's another country where, you know, very kind people, but that country has a cleanliness problem. Here, like, for the amount of people in the streets and just visitors, like, it's very clean, so yeah. I, you know, I got to give you know a lot of uh, kudos to the uh, Vietnamese people. <laughs> yeah. you know. A message to the world, or maybe some wisdom that you'd like to pass on. Travel. I mean, it's a big world out there. A lot of nice people, and like, I'm traveling solo, and like, it's not bad. I mean, you just meet cool people. You're I'm, saying this was not your first time. How do you experience the the people, yeah, the yeah, food? Yeah. The, the people are the same. People yeah. are saying the food is the same, you know, but the crowd is. Phew. It's, it's, it's crazy, you know, especially in Hoi An. It looks like more like Disney World. Too many boats on the river, you know, it's unbelievable, <laughs> you know, yeah. yeah. You, can't, you, can't see, you, can't, you can't even see the water anymore, you know. Ah. Yeah. But is it still nice though? Is it still pleasant to be here? Uh, yeah, absolutely. Uh, despite the rainy season, we are right in the rainy season, so yeah. You have to take granted, you know, uh, yeah. It's, it is what it is. Yeah. You know, you know, I always look on the bright side, right? Is there something that you maybe see now that 
is better than 20 years ago. Yeah, the, the motorbikes, they have uh, fast bus now. 20 years ago when I was here, you know, <laughs> they didn't have fast bus. Okay. So it's got kind of yeah, yeah. big difference. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So yeah. I guess the economy is booming. <laughs> <laughs> hey, cool man, do you have a message to the world or some wisdom to pass on? Uh, yeah, uh, travel, uh, your money will return, but time won't. This channel is based in Thailand, showing you the beauty of Southeast Asia and we're meeting a lot of interesting people along the way. What do foreign tourists really think of Vietnam? I think we got quite a clear idea of what it is really like and the people love it. The food is amazing, the people are kind, the landscapes are stunning and yeah we are even with the rain having a great time here in Vietnam. Next episode we're gonna show you Hanoi by foot. We having a little walking tour. I'd like to show you the old quarter, the French part of town and after that we're gonna carry on our trip in Southeast Asia through Vietnam. Thank you so much for watching till the very end. I'd like to say from the capital city of Vietnam in Hanoi, bye for now and stay champ.